Hi guys, I'm Charlie, a Charlie Book Fanatic. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do the third book haul on my entire channel. I felt like it was time for another book haul. I have four library books here and four books I bought myself. Well, actually, I didn't buy all four. One I got from the publisher and that is Resurgence by AJ Flower. I got it on the publisher Alize Press. I will leave my spoiler-free review for this book down below. I gave it three stars. I really enjoyed it even though it could have had some more editing going on about it could have had one more draft but i really enjoyed this and i read a couple months ago i've had this in my possession for a while already it's historical fiction it's set in 1913 and it is about mary who crashes a plane into her parents house and then gets sent to an asylum but in the hospital she gets recruited by the military and she gets to fly planes as a pilot then i have three jane austen books the first one is persuasion these are penguin english library classics i absolutely love the paperback editions and i want to get all of them because i think they are absolutely beautiful i have read this one already and, and i enjoyed it it's about Anne Elliot who broke off her engagement to a man she who didn't have enough money but then a couple years later she encounters this man again and he has become very wealthy and she discovers that she is not over him yet. The next one I have is Pride and Prejudice and this is the one I read most recently. It's about Elizabeth and her four sisters and her mother who wants to marry off all of her daughters. Lizzie's sister Jane falls in love with Bingley who is the be who is Darcy's best friend and Lizzie gets confronted with Darcy a lot. He annoys her like she absolutely hates him until she realizes she doesn't hate him anymore and she starts liking him. And the last book I bought myself is Emma by also by Jane Austen and this is perhaps my favorite edition. I absolutely love it and I think it's my favorite book I've read so far by Jane Austen as well. It's also the first one I read by Jane Austen. It's about Emma, who is a very arrogant character. And she was created to be only liked by the writer, Jane Austen. But I actually really loved Emma as a character. Emma is trying to create couples between all of her friends. She wants to play matchmaker, but she doesn't want to get married herself. She sees herself as an independent, single woman who doesn't need a man. That is basically the premise of it. She tries to couple off all of her friends until she realizes she is falling in love herself. We'll go over to the books I got from the library. This first one I got is The Thing About Jellyfish by Ali Benjamin. This is a book I'm going to read during the slower tone, which the rear tone I'm participating in during the month of September. I'm going to, to read this book aloud to myself and I'm very excited about it. It's about Susie who loses her best friend. Her best friend has drowned and she thinks this has happened because of a mysterious jellyfish sting because everyone should know someone who got stung by a jellyfish once and Susie doesn't know anyone who got stung by a jellyfish, so it has to be her best friend. And she set out to find out about her best friend's death. I found The, the Art of Being Normal by Lisa Williamson. This is about a boy who wants to be a girl. And I think this book is actually very pretty because when I opened it, look at it. Oh my god, it is gorgeous. Then I got Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Delaira. Delaira. I honestly don't know this author. This is about a girl who lost her big sister. You know, that is the, the one trope I'm obsessed with. She started writing letters to dead people. And it started as an English assignment. She writes to Kurt Cobain because he died young, just like her, her sister. The whole book is made up of letters to all of these dead people. And I think it's going to be a very emotional read. The cover is really pretty. And I've been wanting to read this for a long time, so I can't wait to dive in. And the last book I got is perhaps the one I'm most excited about. And it's actually a graphic novel. And I normally don't read graphic novels, but I was walking through my library and this one really caught my eye and I read the back of it and I was like, I need to take this home with me. This is the Dutch translation of a French graphic novel. In Dutch it's called Abeltje, translated from the French graphic novel Abelard. And it's about our main character, Abelard, or Abeltje, who 
who is in love with a girl called Apelia, or Apili, I believe she's called in French. You don't just seduce a girl, he needs to give her the moon. The moon. And to do that, he goes off to North America, and because there are the flying machines or the airplanes. And Abela meets on his journey this bear who is in Dutch called Gert, but in French he is called Gaston. And I am just so excited. It looks so pretty. And I want to show you the art as well because I obviously opened the book when I was in the library. And look at it. It looks so cool. I am honestly extremely excited because these are the grey tones, and in the beginning you saw some blue tones, and look, you can see it perfectly here, blue, brown, I mean, I meant, I meant brown, and just, it looks really pretty, and I honestly can't wait, because it's quite thick, it's 144 pages, and ugh, I'm so excited to give another graphic novel a chance and I really really hope I will love it. These are all of the books I've gotten from the library, bought myself and one review copy I got from the publisher. I really want to share this with you because I'm so excited to dive into most of these books because I've read four of them already and four I haven't read so it's quite evenly balanced but I'm very excited. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought about them. Do you want to read any of these books? I would love to know. Thank you for watching. Goodbye!